Welcome to GMR Talks. Today we will discuss about performance management system for recognition and retention. Why performance management system? As we all know, what cannot be measured cannot be managed. In a VUCA environment, where the situation is highly volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous, nowadays we are talking about money, Bristol, anxious, non-linear, incomprehensible. So we don't know what kind of you know what are you know situation that is probably likely to emerge. Given the fact that all other resources are either available, accessible, or affordable, the only resource which could provide cutting edge or make a difference into the organizational performance is none other than talented human resource. Now, when we have well-designed, you know, performance management system that helps what we call employees' performance and also what we call registering increase the productivity. Now, you know, there are different versions about, you know, how to treat this human resource. You know, you know some people, you know, refer to as an asset. Some people as what we call a resource, as a human capital, and few what we call, you know, look at it as what we call object necessary if a personal or what we call organizational success. But when we look at what are called high performing organizations, we find that they lead, they are what are called people, they develop and they believe in what are called, you know, growing them. In other words, human resource or the people are at the heart of, you know, what are called, you know, their strategy. So how do they treat human resources? They treat human resources as a contributory team member. A member who is part of the team, what are called, contributes to the organizational performance. It's not something, you know, which can be written off or, you know, write off. That's fine. Great. Okay. But why we need recognition and why, why we need to what call retain our people? Nowadays, there is immense competition for talent. In fact, it's not an exaggeration to say that the major challenge, you know, before what call CEO is to what call, you know, find talent. So when it is so difficult, you know, what call find talent, it's all the more important, you know, what to call to recognize them and what called retain them. Two, cost of turnover. If people are frequently leaving the what called our nation, if the turnover rate is what called too high, it impacts the what called bottom line of the our nation. Because recruiting a fresh employee and what called you know training him, it takes what called you know time as well as what called involves resources. Third, employee engagement. When we recognize what are called people, people feel what are called, you know, loyal, committed to the organization, and they feel what are called engaged. Let's not forget one thing that human beings, you know, are called crave for recognition. When the employee feels that, you know, his work what are called matters, he is part of what are called big picture, he gets what are called motivated to what are called put his best. And recognition and retention, they are the important tools of, you know, any organizational culture. It helps to build what call in a healthy organizational culture where employees, you know, will feel like what called giving their best. And last but not the least, you know, it helps in what call, you know, and creating customer satisfaction. Good. So a well-designed performance management system definitely helps in what call, you know, recognizing our talented human resource and what call, you know, retaining them. That's fine. Then in that case, what set of performance management system, you know, an organization should have? Number one, continuous feedback. If an employee is not given a feedback, especially a constructive feedback, it's like a, what I call a blind man, you know, walking in a, what I call a beautiful garden. He must be, what I call, you know, what I call, you know, told about how he is doing and all that, you know, so that, you know, he can, what I call, improve. Second, agile goal setting. It's not like, you know, something that, you know, you fix the what call targets or goals at the beginning and leave it to the what call, you know, employee to what call achieve it or accomplish it. We are in a dynamic environment. We need to what call, you know, refine or call, you know, revise our what call targets in the light of the emerging challenges, you know, that as what call, you know, an organization face. So what should be the mantra? The mantra should be what call observe, adopt and what call improve. Let the PMS or let the organizational philosophy be what call, you know, employee centric. So that, you know, I mean, you take care of their employee engagement, 
their training, their development, etc. Next, technology enabled. Technology enables change, but it's people who drive the change. But it's always, you know, good to, you know, adopt the technology to ease, you know, the kind of work of doing. So why not we want to call, you know, I mean, automate mundane routine functions and make use of the technology to get more and more insights into vertical employee behavior so that, you know, we manage them vertical accordingly. Let's not, you know, forget about, uh, you know, one thing that obsolete technology is dangerous, but obsolete human resources are vertical disastrous. So are we vertical equipping our people, our employees with the requisite technology, tools and techniques? So that you know what they are given best. A performance management system is not merely what called evaluating. It's also something to do with what call, you know, enabling them to what call, you know, give their best. Probably that is the reason nowadays, you know, I mean managers are being asked to what call, you know, coach their employees. That means they should not only evaluate and what call assess, but they should also what call help their employees to overcome the barriers or challenges, you know, what call if any. Let the what I call your know, performance management system be inclusive and fair. Promote diversity and what I call you know inclusion. Let recognition and reward be what I call two important tools in the hands of you know managers, you know, for recognizing the people who are doing well. So, continuous feedback, employee centric policy, okay, then what I call you know training and what I call you know development, inclusiveness. Recognition, reward, enabling the people to what call adopting technology. So these should be, you know, some of the what called components of your well-designed performance management system. Great. Now, how performance management system, you know, helps in recognizing and what call you know retention of employees. When people have clear goals and what call expectations, they know what is what call expected of them. So they give their best work. Regular feedback. When you're giving your what call regular feedback, feedback based on what call objective evaluation, people will try to you know work on their what call you know omissions and commissions if any, so as to you know give their what call best. A well-designed what call performance management system helps in recognizing our people and rewarding them. And when you recognize and what call reward the people, and mind you, the let the reward need not be only what call monetary. Let there be a comprehensive, what I call, you know, I mean, compensation strategy in line with the, what I call, you know, needs of the employees so that, you know, they always, you know, give their best. A well-designed performance management system motivates, you know, what I call people to give their best and that increases, you know, their loyalty to the organization. Let's, what I call, you know, focus on developing them. We all know that while missions have, you know, what I call finite capacity, people have what are called kinetic capacity. The more you invest in what are called developing them, the more you what are called they give back to the what are called our nation. So in, in conclusion, I'll say that an organization which sets what are called, you know, clear goals, gives what are called regular feedback, ensures what are called objective evaluation, recognizes in what are called rewards its people by providing development opportunities. You know, all these things, you know, will usher in a culture of excellence. When we are talking about bunny, brittle, anxious, and non-linear, and what called incomprehensible, you know, a chaotic what called feature, it's all the more important that you know you keep what called a well-designed performance management system in place so that you know recognition and retention you know of the what called employees what called you know is what called taken care of. Let the focus be on creativity, competitiveness, and collaboration. In other words. Let our performance management system, you know, help in ushering in, in sustaining creative instincts of the people, promotes competitiveness among them, at the same time, what we call ensures, you know, collaborative spirit. Thank you.